Hey everybody, it's Brody from Bitcoin Studios, and today I'll be bringing you a review of set 75322, the Hoth ATST. Now, this is a new set that just came out. It said it was going to release, or Lego announced it was going to release January 1st, but it only released in my area about a week and a half ago, and I just picked it up the other day. And now I have the review for you guys, and the box art is kind of new because it's standing up usually. Box art's a bit flat now. And for anyone who's gotten it, the more recent sets have gotten this thing to open them. I'm personally not a big fan of them, so I got a knife and I cut it open like this. I, that's all the extra pieces in there, but because I have already two boots. But the back also looks nice. Personally, if from the box out, anyone's going to love it, so we might as well already get into the video. Alright, everyone. Alright, sorry, just some camera difficulties. To start off, we're going to start with the minifigures. Now, I love the Chewbacca here, just personally. Not a big fan of the crossbow. The Rebel Trooper, or the Rebel Snow Trooper, is one of the more new females that, or women, Lego's been making minifigures now, which I'm totally in support of that. That is absolutely awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Next is the ATSD driver. Uh, he's a new print for the the chest piece and the leg piece. Uh, this is like basically the same helmet that General Veers has in the ATT or the ATAT. Sorry, it's just this is not blue, which designates probably that he's not a commander or general, like Mr. Veers. He's just a regular ATSD driver. But overall, minifigs are 9 out of 10. Next up is the Pro Droid. Honestly, in my opinion, it's a 9 out of 10. Uh, it's just a little confusing build. It looks a little awkward, you know. I don't know. But I don't have a Pro Droid, or never had, so honestly, it looks amazing. I like the little stand that I came with. I wish I came with uh, some little mini, like, rugged hill. Sorry, rugged hills for detailing. But still great, you know. It's honestly a great mini build and awesome that they included it in the set. That they didn't have to do that, but the fact that they did was absolutely amazing. And I'm thankful for Lego for doing that because now I have a probe droid. So, and I'm gonna do a Hoth mock most likely the next mock. I mock I see came off. It's probably my fault, but I don't know. Some of the pieces, but overall, solid eight out of ten for the probe droid. Now, let's get stuff in the back here now big boy oh man do I love this guy let's start off his toes I love the design they look absolutely perfect uh, the only problem I have is that the little right here the tan pieces I'm not a big fan of showing the tan and yet there's tan there tan there again and then you can see sand blue right there more tan up there but I'll get into that in a minute sand blue but personally i like to keep it all gray but it gives it a little bit more diversity but the legs uh they can move great or not great but they can still move see it kind of it's kind of a little burden to move them but it's still awesome the head moves around pretty well it's really sturdy hasn't changed at all the back kind of does look a little bit ugly a little bit you guys here does look a little bit ugly, but it's alright, let's get details on the back here, I think that looks good, sorry for the lighting everyone, from the side view, very detailed, except for that uh, technical piece there, I don't like that showing personally, and then to the head, to the head of the vehicle, let's get into this bad boy. The turret can move up and down. It's for the main turret, for the past couple um, ATSDs, this is probably my favorite. I don't know why, it just looks awesome. I don't know what weapon this is for, but it looks cool. This also does look cool. It's come off a little bit, but it's easily adjustable. This flaps up easily. This stays in place, but you can't flap it open, so I don't know. Because that's how they've done it in most of the sets, so that's kind of annoying. But now, you can see into there, see all the tan pieces, and there's the controls, 
You can fit. I'm gonna fit it in. Hold up. I've got that. Uh, ATSD driver for you guys. If he could let go of the binox. Oh, oh. Camera, camera. Can we not? Camera, camera, camera. Sorry. If anyone is still watching this review, I thank you so much, guys. You guys are awesome. Now I'm putting the ATSD driver. If anyone has gone this past, or this deep into the video, comment Lego. But as you can see, he fits in perfectly. Overall, 9.5 out of 10. The set, in my opinion, 9.5 out of 10. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if you haven't, check out my mock contest video. And this is the prize. I haven't made a short video showing it, but this is the prize for the winner. So everybody go check that out. Thank you for watching.